Now this is part two, right, of a video that I'm just about to upload. <clears throat> so in my in in the first video it was basically the difference between uh harmonica that's been embossed, the, the reed gaps have been embossed. Difference uh, and and gapped, yeah. Um and one that hadn't been. So if you go and listen to that video it's it's uh providing youtube quality is the same as what it is on my camera when i listen to it um you'll be able to tell the difference now if you go and have a look at the video you'll see like this one with the Illumina sticker was my the one that i had originally i've had it for about two years and and i i did the read work i did the setup on it um and then this one is one that I recently bought on eBay. I, I bought two recently on eBay. Both of them were like this. The, the reed plates were as untarnished as that plate itself. Very, you could tell, more, more or less totally unused. Um, but both of them, in comparison to the A, that I'd had already were quite quiet, but now this is this is an update really. So my one the new one. talking about here is responsive responsiveness bendability and volume a little bit of volume when i say a little bit that's, that's the the newish one that i've just done the embossing and the gapping on You go and watch my video. You 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 can tell the difference. Out the box one. The one that I worked on previously. I still prefer this one. This is mine. I've been bearing in mind. I've been playing this one for years. Just worked on. <laughs> Trying to play a song that I recently just learning.
Yeah, that one's still not as good as mine. Bearing in mind, if I only just so, so this one, I've had it for a couple of years, I would have, you know, back then I was just tweaking and stuff, trying to do my best. Um, and I, so over the course of two years, uh, I've been playing it, then tweaking it a bit, playing it, then tweaking it a bit, maybe, you know, whereas this one here, I've only had it open once and gapped and embossed. think uh my point being um there was a time when i made um a video which was titled do i need a custom built harmonica um <clears throat> by then i had bought one from ben beaumont and i've not regretted it once um awesome harmonica um that's a, a classic 847 ng but i would like to think that i might do most of my own work myself or learn to since then i've got to thinking that it's quite time consuming this stuff you need to be quite fanatical you you've got to, you've got to sort of like put a lot of time in, and sort of like um, like there's some stuff in my life, I don't know like like if I had to put a shelf up, it's probably a bad example. Um, yeah, I'd just pick it up, I'd do it, I'd do it quite quickly because I've done it a number of times. That's you know I could do it quite quickly, right? Um, without fiddling about too much well I don't do this enough to uh, to say I know exactly how to tune this or that to be honest I've never tuned a harmonica so I don't know nothing about tuning it, it's just the gap in and the embossing again I'm not saying I'm some sort of pro at it or anything like that but I just I just know how to make that when I emboss it I know how to make that gap smaller um, and then to make sure it's free from any um, small bits of metal um, and then gap in <clears throat> try and lower the action a little bit make it um, flat all the way across best I can and then um, so there it goes into the, the slot uh, equal to to get rid of the light that's shining through. It's this is basic. That's a that's that's a level of my capability. Um, so so there you go. I'm I am not I'm not sort of saying that um, that stock harp harps are are good enough. In a sense, I've I, I nine I'd say eight times out of ten I've always opened them, especially if it's a C and A. Then I have because I use them mostly. If I've bought um, a B flat or uh, or a D, 
Normally they've been really good straight out of the box and, and I haven't had to do any of that to them for some reason. And maybe because I'm not focusing on bending on those harmonicas so much. Um, as not, I'm not doing such um, repetitious bends on those ones. So the C and the A are my favourite, so... Uh, that's where I'm at. And maybe one day, if I was to be, you know, overbending and stuff like that, then then maybe it's that's when it's time to just go custom on every harmonica. But I, I'm not at that stage. I'm just enjoying holes, you know, one to six draw bends and. Um, Learning a bit of blues, learning some Irish music on a on a D harmonica, uh, or a G, or on the low keys, and it's great fun. So there you go. I hope this just encourages somebody, if if you've got the the mind and the mentality just to give stuff a try, then there are lots of helpful videos on YouTube. Where uh, the the resource that I bought actually was um, Richard Slay's uh, Harmonica Hot Rod. It's it's a DVD download thing, <clears throat> MP4 or whatever download, and he, and he goes through all all of what you need to know about uh, embossing and gapping and read profiling. <clears throat> so um, yeah, and and that song that I was playing there that's uh called good morning mr wells from richard slay's uh online store <laughs> 